Morning everybody, Q&A time. Somebody's asking, how much vaccine do I need to inject in my Akita 90 pound dog? All vaccines are not size specific, um, best I know. Certainly, um, you know, normal vaccines, things like Parvo and rabies. It's one bottle per dog, regardless whether it's a Chihuahua or a Great Dane. Uh, uh, Jay Jones says, how are you guys? I recently had a litter of seven French puppies. Two of them were boys, had full tails. How does that happen? Because there's some genes in there with either mum or the dad or maybe both that have something to do with long tail. Um, you can't test for it. But I mean, historically, if you've got two dogs that have got long tails or they've had parents or grandparents with long tails, then you could get long tails popping up which is not wanted in a French Bulldog. Uh, there's a thing called a gay tail. So a gay tail is a dog that has a little bit of a tail, maybe about, you know, an inch and a half, two inches of tail, and it tends to stick up when they're excited. That's called a gay tail. But if you've got a tail that's like as long as your finger, that's definitely not what you want, unfortunately. Uh, Kura Kavichi says, I'm speaking from India. My female dog has come into heat on the 11th breeding on the 11th breeding is coming on, on 16th, our progesterone progesterone level. Okay, I'm not sure what you're saying here, but anyway. Uh, her progesterone level right now is 3.18. So with a 3.18, I mean, you don't tell me what kind of machine it is. Um, l let's just assume it's an IDEX. On an IDEX, which is what is typically used by vets, five is ovulation and you expect to see that around day nine, but it varies obviously. Then day 10, you'd expect to have a reading of about eight, and on day 11, a reading of 15. That's when you want to do an AI, a vaginal AI on 15. Typically day 11 through 13, normally, but it could be earlier, it could be later. And then if the next day after that, you're gonna be at a 25, and now you're in the SI, surgical insemination, or TCI, transcervical insemination range. And if you're talking about an, a fine care machine, those numbers then are seven, uh, 12, 17. Um, so you want AI on a 17 and then maybe something like a 30 there. Okay. Um, someone is saying, Paul Hero has tried to do the hematoma trick with the uh, tube in the ear it says it doesn't not work the dog shakes the tube falls out okay so the reason it's not working is because a couple of things maybe you've got a tube that's too heavy maybe you've got a tube that's too long extra weight can get thrown out you're not taping it tight enough but i can tell you that it's been used by many people including me and it works very well but you've got to get it to stay there so shorten your tube up maybe have that much tube an inch of tube and get some electrical tape and tape it so it's nice and tight around the ear. And, you know, if, if she's getting a pause to it, you can always put on one of those Elizabethan collars, you know, kind of a cone-shaped thing on her head too. Someone's got a wire hair rojo. Well, that's an unusual dog. Congratulations. Somebody thinks that Mickey Blue Eyes is a mutt. Okay, well, there you go. We don't think so. We think he's a beautiful dog. Brian Gutierrez says, when is the latest that tan points start to show and appear? So first off, if you've got you know, either a dog that is uh, um, ATA, I need to wipe my board off. Let me, get a, let me get a thing here real quick. Oh dear, there we go. Okay. Um, okay, so tan points. A tan pointed dog will be either ATAT or ATA. ATAT tends to show up a bit more vividly than ATA. ATA tends to be more of a yellowy tan point. ATA, ATA more yellowy, ATAT more white. But if Brindle's present, you won't see tan points worth a diddly. And if you do, they'll be muted and kind of mottled. But typically, you know, you may see tan points at birth. Maybe on their butt, you might see that their kind of their butt is kind of lighter color. Typically, within a week, things start to show up. Now, if you've got a dog that is A-T-A-Y, that's a sable. And that might take a while. In fact, the first dog I ever had was Winston who was a sable. We didn't see tan points, he was about five weeks old. 
Tank and Liz's mum. We have a two-week-old singleton. She was nursing on mum great and has gained weight daily. She's just stopped wanting to nurse on mum two days ago. Uh, just wants to sleep, not crying. Uh, seems happy and healthy, but worried why she's not worth it. I have a syringe of goat's milk because she doesn't want to both... Wasn't a bottle... A, a bottle... A, uh, she doesn't want to take a bottle. So what do you do? Well, look. A dog that is two weeks old and is not eating uh, will eventually get in trouble. So... You've got to step in and do something. So the first question is, is why is she not eating? So the routine things that I would always do on a dog that's two weeks old is get my first uh, worming done. Because that generally helps tummy problems. And you want to worm with pyrantal payomate. Payomate. Or same thing, a lot more expensive, but the same thing as Nemex too. You want to worm for that for one day. Then if she's not pooping, give her an enema. Uh, take a temperature. Make sure her temperature is not 102 or higher if you just go to the vet. And then, look, if she's, if she's not eating, she's got to eat. You're going to have to feed. So just two feed goat's milk. It's as simple as that. How much do you feed? You feed a puppy's weight. So this is a seven, two-week-old puppy. Probably weighs a pound. So a 16-ounce puppy gets 16 mils every three hours. Or a 10-ounce puppy would get 10 mils every three hours. Uh, somebody says they like Chinati. Could we like them too? Someone's asking about a mini Vidas. They want to know what the breed number is on a mini Vidas. Um, 28.5 is what you said, and that is correct. A mini Vidas has got much higher numbers than uh, Fine Care and Idex. So, yes, you're correct. Uh, lost my comments. Testable fluffies are amazing. Okay, good. Someone's giving me some thumbs up. Oh, it's okay. Somebody's saying we enjoy your videos, but the audio is difficult to understand. Yeah, I apologize. In the car, it can be. Sometimes it just doesn't do very well. I should have the microphone. So, a little microphone here it makes all the difference in the world. They encourage me to do more of these videos. But do remember, disclaimer here I am not a vet. I'm not a licensed medical professional. I'm purely a person who's been breeding dogs for the last couple of decades. Any information that you got from this video, use at your own risk. There's nothing implied here. And certainly this is, should not be used as a substitute for advice from your veterinarian or your medical professional. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for more of them. Frisky now, come on up here.